Hello everyone, I'm Alice and today I'm going to share my idea on how to save this shore from plastic pollution and my idea name is New 12. Okay, hi, I'm Alice. I am a student at SMP Sri Bintang Tara. It's a school based in Kuala Lumpur and I was born and raised Malaysian and currently I am 16 years old. Okay, so here are the some fun things that we will cover. Um, such as why we need to save the shore, what is new 12, and some facts and figures about it, and why ocean pollution is somewhat dangerous to the world. Okay, so why do we need to save the shore? Okay, to me, the shore is like a bridge between the land and the ocean. It is the place of birth for amphibious animals such as turtles, okay? So here, as you can see, there's a picture beside it. It shows that a polluted shore can kill aquatic animals in the ocean. This is because when you throw rubbish at the shore, it will automatically go into the ocean, okay? And aquatic animals will eat it and they will somehow die because uh, when plastic enter their digestive system, it will like, somehow kill them. Especially turtles, which is very common these days, um, because based on the research, they say that every dead turtles have plastic inside their body. Okay, now, for this project, this is our goal. So our goal is to collect at least 10% of plastic waste in the ocean in the world. Even with 10% sounds small, but when it comes to the world, it is very, very, it's a very large number. And our goal is to maximize the usage of recycled plastic. That means we don't want to use um, new, uh, new plastic, we only want to use recycled plastic. And our goal is to maximize the usage of technology. That means we will put as many sensors, just to make uh, not uh, sensors make it more advanced um, um, in software just to make it more advanced and more easier when it comes to collecting garbages plastics and crap and our goal is uh, to create a design that does not harm the environment that means our design is not harmful and it's very 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 safe to use um, to use uh, and it doesn't harm the environment so we also have SDG goal. Uh, for SDG goal, SDG goal is a sustainable development goal that was developed by the United Nations. And our SDG goal is SD, uh, the goal 14, the 40th goal, which is to observe and sustainably use the ocean, sea, and marine resources for sustainable development. Um, that means we will, uh, we will try to achieve our SDG goal by preventing and significantly reduce marine pollution of all kinds, in particular from land-based activities, including mar marine debris and nutrient pollution. And so now, we keep on talking about neutral. So what is neutral? So neutral is actually a green technology drone that can be used on land, mud, and water. That means it is amphibious. Um, Neutraf also is an innovative, modificated drone that can pick up garbage in any condition. Uh, it's actually modified. I'm so sorry. Okay. Um, Neutraf was based by these four vehicles. Okay, so we have um, the motorboat from Fortnite. We have the Shansiken train from Japan. And we have the hovercraft. And we have the ocean cleanup interceptor. So for the ocean cleanup, we will use their concept where when the drone move forward, the water will go inside and we will filter out the garbage. And the hovercraft, we will use it for the body, like the fan. And for the train, we will use its structure, its aerodynamic structure, so it is easier for um, the drone to move, especially um, at the beach, because as you can see, um, at the beach, it's kind of windy. It's, very windy so we don't want uh, we want to reduce the air friction and we will use multiple from Fortnite to use that engine here okay. and from this for so new for 12 is actually a redesign it was um, improvisation it was an innovation of these four vehicles and now we're going to talk about the new car background the name Newt is actually based on amphibian animal that can walk on land, water, and mud. We call it 12 because the battery life can last long as long as 12 hours. Okay, so Newt 12 is using the concept of active remote sensing. 
where it will be uh, we will use infrared sensors, thermal and capacitive sensors to detect plastic and aquatic animals. That means that means we will um, use thermal to avoid collecting uh, aquatic animals. You know because we want to avoid hurting and harm them. So we will use thermal to avoid aquatic animals. That means we will try our best not to capture them. Okay, so some facts about Newtuff. So Newtuff can carry trash up to 6 kg. Newtuff storage is located inside its air cushion, which will be used to store garbage that is collected from the vacuum and the mud filter. Um, Newtuff also will be powered by green technology. That means um, it doesn't use fossil fuel and it doesn't contribute any harm gases uh, for the greenhouse effect. That means it will use um, solar panels, um, green um, technology, um, green energy, that means a renewable energy such as the sun, the wind, and etc. And the battery life can also last as long as 12 hours. Okay, so how can new 12 be used in mud, land, and water? Okay, so uh, new 12 can be used in land because, um, because of their, uh, can be used in mud, land, and water because of their fans. Okay, so um, Nitra will be using mud motors for muddy conditions such as um, mud flats and they will use truss fan for land and water and we will use air cushion for any conditions such as land, mud, water, we can use air cushion anywhere but they can move in any condition because of the mud motors and the truss fan. Okay. So how can Nitra collect trash? New 12 have two different ways of collecting trash. Okay, um, New 12 uh, collect um, if it's in muddy area and watery area such as the ocean and mud flats, we will use the mud filter. Okay, the mud filter we will be using the ocean clean concept, where when it moves inside the trash will go inside the drone, and for land we will use uh, a vacuum that will be located under the drone. Okay, so now we're going to talk about the advantages of new top. So new top is very cheap. It is time saving, costs less money to pay the workers. It has strong support system. It is very time saving. This is because um, it can move faster than human. It can um, do job faster um, and move faster. Okay, it gives quality work due to their memory. Okay, and their power. Okay, when we talk about advantages, we must have disadvantages, right? So the disadvantages of new 12 is it is somehow fragile. That means um, um, it is uh, need a huge amount of money to repair, but you can use it for a very long time. It's very sustainable. And another disadvantage of new 12 it, it is it is not flexible. That means when it comes to new situation, when new is facing a new situation, it requires human to do the coding, okay? And from software, um, the software, the disadvantages of new from software is it is very difficult to construct and to debug. Okay, so from the positive experiences and the negative experience, um, the skill uh, from skill, I think I. What I learned from skill is that, okay, uh, I'm so sorry. Okay, so from positive experience, what I gain is that I I develop a new skills such as drawing, which I think it is not. I think it's not that good, but I think it's great to develop new skills. Um, maybe I can use the drawings in school, right? Okay, so and then from this project also I. I am um, from awareness. I am more aware of what is happening in the world. I understand why we need to um to avoid using plastic, and I I also now I am more understand why Greta Thunberg is protesting for the climate change because plastic pollution is is it is so bad to the environment. It can cause so many terrible stuff that we don't want. And then for the negative experience of what I what I have gained from negative experience is that I have lack of resources such as coding. I have very lack of resources for coding and my design. This new 12 design 
is actually a very last minute design because the first design actually was unsuccessful. That means because it doesn't meet the terms and condition because uh, my first uh, design was actually an airborne. That means it can fly around. But when I read it back, it should be amphibious, right? So when it's like amphibious, so I this thing I need to change it a very last minute. Okay. So for future planning, if everything goes wrong and is there like any way to improve my idea, I will try to like if everything goes wrong, I will definitely take a, a step back. I will take a um I will take a step backwards and look back at all my stuff and look at uh, in a different way. Take a, uh, take a step back and look at the project in a different way, okay? Maybe because um, if everything go wrong, that means um, I must have like in a very big trouble, you know? Because the only way to improve it is to take a step back and look at it in a different angle. That is um, the only um the only thing that i can do and the only way to improve my uh, idea is to work someone um uh, who is with more knowledge maybe like my parents or maybe i could um talk or discuss this project with another person okay so now it comes to the conclusion okay so as a conclusion we need to save the ocean for the younger generation uh, because the younger generation must um should feel how we felt they should experience the nature they shouldn't just um experience the buildings all the concrete buildings it's not good and i think we should not be selfish and we should take care do not litter everywhere okay so new turf was designed to make the work easier for humans to collect the plastic and the shore and the beaches. That means it is a very good uh, idea, I think. I hope you guys like it. Okay, so that's all for me. I am Alif Lokman. Um, thank you very much for listening and watching my video. I'm so sorry if there's any grammar issues, especially the modificated, it's actually modified. Okay, that's all. Thank you very much. Bye.